Glass marbles are more than just pretty. They're also one of the most fun things you'll ever find. But apart from being just pretty and fun, have you ever wondered how these mesmerizing little spheres are made? Well, if you have, buckle up, because we've got an exclusive backstage pass to the magical journey from raw materials to the finished marble. Now, let's get down to the nuts and bolts, starting at square one, which has to do with getting the raw materials. To whip up these beautiful glass marbles, you'll be needing four key ingredients, which are sand, soda lime, silica, and let's not forget the coloring materials. Because who doesn't love a pop of hue in their glass marbles? When we say sand here, we're not just talking about the random one. The kind of sand used in the production of glass marbles is industrial sand, aka silica sand. You see, industrial or silica sand is high purity sand that's made up of two main elements silica and oxygen. Its unique blend of silica and oxygen content gives it a unique range of properties that makes it well suited to a large number of applications. For marble glass production, the silica needs to be top notch. Think chemically pure, with over 95% silicon dioxide, and just sized right, between 0.075 millimeters and 1.18 millimeters. Scoring perfect sand isn't just a walk in the park, this is because only sand from specific sources is suitable for use in the production of marble glass. We're talking about specific sand sources like lakes, rivers, fossil beaches, and even wind deposits. Extracting this sand also demands serious skill and expertise from the supplier. Around three quarters of the raw material batch used in making glass is high quality silica sand. The other is made up of a mix of soda lime coloring agents and a dash of recycled glass. Soda lime is the chemical term for a blend of calcium hydroxide with sodium or potassium hydroxide. Not only does it work as a drying agent, but it's also a carbon dioxide magnet. The soda part plays the role of a flux, working its magic to lower the temperature at which silica melts. On the other hand, the lime steps in as the stabilizer for the silica. Apart from their chemical functions, soda lime is also used for a number of other reasons. For starters, it's economical, chemically stable, reasonably tough, and extremely workable. Because it can be reshaped multiple times if needed, these qualities make it suitable for a ton of glass products, including light bulbs, window panes, bottles, and of course, marble glass. Silica is another essential compound that is needed in the manufacturing of glass marble. It is a crystalline powder that is found in various rocks, like agate, flint, and quartz. Last on the list, we've got the rock stars that actually make these little spheres pop with personality, the coloring agents. They inject vibrant hues and create those eye-catching patterns that make every marble a tiny masterpiece. Now that we've got all of our materials ready, let's dive into the production process. Now that the ingredients are all lined up, it's time to play chemist. The sand, soda lime, and silica are carefully measured and blended in just the right amounts, while following a specific recipe, because as expected, the quantity of different raw materials used can produce different types of glass marbles. And after that is done, they head straight into the furnace, where things heat up real fast. We're talking about a blazing 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit, which can take a whopping 28 hours for that mix to fully melt down. Next up, the molten mixture, which by now has the consistency of thick treckle, as it moves out of the tank through an opening into another vat known as the flow tank. Here, the superheated glass is injected with more molten glass, but this time, it's infused with color. This is done by skilled workers in the factory who are responsible for injecting more molten glass infused with vibrant colors into the superheated mix. They do this either by using small tools or by directly injecting dyes into the glass in order to enhance the colors and designs of the marbles. Just as an artist's technique influences the colors and patterns in a painting, the way elements are injected into the glass decides the cool patterns you see in the marbles. For example, adding iron oxide makes the glass turn green, cobalt gives it a deep blue hue, and uranium oxide gives it a yellow-green shade. After the glass has been injected and infused with its beautiful colors, it emerges from the tank in a lengthy stream. From there, it's then whisked away to a special machine, kind of like a craftsman's workshop, where it undergoes a makeover. Think of this machine as a mini factory with tools that gently shape the flowing glass into those familiar round marble shapes. It's a bit like using cookie cutters or molds to create perfectly shaped cookies, but instead of cookies, it's crafting these beautiful glass marbles. These shaping techniques can be done in different ways. Some methods use rollers to shape the glass while others could involve molds or even finely tuned machines operated by skilled hands. The attention to detail ensures that every marble comes out just right, especially with regards to consistency in size and shape. After being cut and shaped into small glass globs, these pieces head into a cooling chamber. 
The cooling chamber is a controlled environment where the marbles gradually cool down while maintaining their strength and structure. This step is crucial in order to ensure the quality of the marble stay top notch. Once they've cooled down, it's spa time! The marbles get a treatment in rotating drums filled with different materials. These drums smooth out any rough edges, just like a gentle exfoliation, leaving them with a smooth and shiny surface. When the marbles are placed inside the rotating drums, they undergo a gentle tumble with abrasive materials that smoothens out any imperfections and gives them that sleek, shiny look. But here's the catch. This polishing process is delicate. It's like guiding a delicate dance routine. You have to watch closely to make sure everyone stays in step and similarly, the marbles need careful monitoring during this process in order to avoid any mishaps or damage. Safety is also a top priority here. The abrasive materials used in this process can be harmful if inhaled, so it's crucial to take proper safety measures to keep everyone safe and sound while these marbles get their final glossy touch. After the marbles have cooled and solidified, they are then gathered and carefully poured into containers, ready for the next step, which is sorting. Fresh from their polishing treatment, the marbles are then sorted using specialized machines at this stage. The machines used here are pretty smart, so they can spot imperfections like bubbles or cracks and swiftly remove any marbles that don't meet the quality standards. After this meticulous sorting process, the marbles are packaged up, each set for its journey to stores around the world. They're all lined up, sorted by size, color, and quality. Once the glass marbles have gone through the polishing and sorting stages, they're all set to be packaged up and sent off to stores worldwide. Packaging these marbles isn't just about making them look pretty. There's a real purpose behind it. These marbles might be small, but they're also very delicate. During their journey to stores, they need to take some extra care. The packaging process is carefully designed to protect them during transportation. After all, glass marbles can break easily if they're not handled carefully. That's why special packaging materials like bubble wrap or foam padding come into play. They act like a soft cushioning hug that keeps the marbles safe and secure, preventing any damage while they're on the move. Just like the sorting process, machines are used in packaging the balls. These machines are not just accurate, they're fast too. They swiftly and precisely place the marbles into their designated bags or containers and ensure they are well protected and ready for their journey to stores all around the globe. So there you have it folks, just like skilled artisans crafting unique pieces by hand. The creation of glass marbles involves a touch of individuality and craftsmanship. So, in the end, each person involved in making these marbles, from injecting the colors to shaping and packaging, bringing their own expertise and flair to the process. Think of it like different chefs making the same dish but adding their personal twist to the recipe. In the world of glass marbles, artisans might have their unique techniques, preferences, or little tricks that make their creations stand out. This diversity in approach and style is what adds richness and character to each batch of marbles, making them not just playful spheres, but tiny reflections of the skill and artistry behind their creation.